Hi everyone, today we are going to learn what is decidua and what happens in the endometrium during pregnancy. Decidua is the name given to the uterine endometrium during pregnancy. That is, decidua is a modified layer of endometrium. Before going into the topic, let me explain the layers of uterus in a non-pregnancy stage and in a pregnancy stage. As we all know that uterus is an important part of reproductive system in which the fetus grows and develops. In a non-pregnant uterus, uterus consists of three layers. The outer layer is perimetrium, it's a protective layer. The second layer is myometrium and this is the muscular layer and the third layer is endometrium. The endometrium has two layers that is basal layer and functional layer. The endometrium that is functional layer of endometrium shed during menstruation and this is about a non-gravid uterus or a non-pregnant uterus. Now let's see the layers of pregnant uterus. The same like non-gravid uterus, pregnant uterus also has three layers that is the outer protective perimetrium, middle muscular myometrium and the inner layer is endometrium. But the difference is during pregnancy the structure of endometrium changes. As the structure changes the name also changes from endometrium to decidua. That is, the name which is given to the endometrium during pregnancy is known as decidua and here we will see how the structure of endometrium changes or why it happens. As we all know that from the time of conception or from the time of fertilization, hormone levels will increase especially the hormones like estrogen and progesterone level increases in a woman's body. So due to the activity of these hormones that is due to the activity of estrogen and progesterone it stimulates the growth of endometrium and it stimulates the secretory activity of endometrium and it, and it increases the vascularity or size of the blood vessels and also the stromal cells of functional layer got enlarged and this particular process is known as decidual reaction. That is due to the effect of estrogen and progesterone. So these changes which will be happening in the endometrial. That is the endometrial growth increases. Secretory activity of endometrium increases. Vascularity increases. And stromal cells get enlarged. So this is process is known as decidual reaction. And this will be leading into formation of a soft spongy vascular bed. So in this particular soft bed. The fertilized ovum implants and the baby or the embryo grows and this soft spongy bed is known as decidua and this decidua consists of three layers basal layer functional layer and compact layer after implantation the decidua differentiates into three parts here implantation means it's a process in which the fertilized ovum or blastocyst cyst gets attached to the endometrial layer that is known as implantation. So after this particular implantation process what happens is this decidua or endometrium differentiates into three parts. It just depends upon its relationship with the embryo that we will see. First one is decidua basalis, second one is decidua capsularis and third one is decidua parietalis. In this diagram you can see a pregnant uterus that is uterus it carries a baby or embryo and here in this diagram you can see the outermost layer that is this blackish shade this you can see that is known as perimetrium this is the outermost protective covering layer and the next layer this particular layer is known as myometrium and the innermost layer this is known as endometrium during pregnancy this will be changing its structure that's why this is known as decidua pink lining is known as decidua 
and here first we will see what is decidua basalis it's a part of decidua which is located at the site of implantation that is where the embryo or where the fertilized ovum is implanting or attaching so that part of decidua is known as decidua basalis and the second one is decidua capsularis that is this part is decidua capsularis that is from here to here this part is known as decidua capsularis and why it is known as decidu decidua capsularis means this particular part is covering the embryo like a capsule and the part of the decidua which covers the embryo this is embryo and it covers the embryo it is like a capsule is known as decidua capsularis and the third portion is decidua parietalis that is part of the decidua which covers the uterine cavity outside the site of implantation as this embryo enlarges the decidua capsularis becomes stretched and smooth eventually or gradually this decidua capsularis merges with the decidua parietalis next we will see the functions of decidua so decidua it provides a good nidus for implantation decidua provides nutrition for the growing embryo in the early stage of pregnancy and also it takes part in the formation of basal plate of placenta good decidual reaction always gives a positive outcome of pregnancy and a poor decidual reaction leads to negative outcomes like miscarriages iugr etc and this is about decidua its parts and its functions hope you understand the topic if you found this video useful please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching